Hi everyone, welcome to the second video in this series on setting up your Mac for neuroimaging analyses. In this video, I'm going to explain why we need a package manager and go through the installation of both Homebrew and Anaconda. So to begin, go ahead and navigate to your internet browser and to the neuroscientists read the docs. The link for this is going to be in the notes. And then from there, let's go to package managers. So before we get go to the installation, uh, I want to go through some important information and background. So we need a package manager tool because inevitably we're going to download different softwares and toolboxes, and each of those comes with its own set of dependencies. Um, across packages, there these tools might be using the same uh, libraries or dependencies. And by having them, you know, multiple versions on the computer and different versions of the same package can create a lot of clashing. So what package manager tools allow us to do is to download packages and everything that's inside of them and make sure, and they also make sure that those packages are compatible with the pre-existing ones on our computer. And so it's really kind of this beautiful way of making sure that all of the different libraries and softwares that we have on our computer uh, play nice with each other. And so the difference between Homebrew and Anaconda and PIP is that Homebrew is a package manager tool that's specific for Mac OS and Linux. So if you want to install some application, um, the recommendation would be to use Brew if you're using a Mac. Anaconda is really neat because it helps distribute um, many of the most popular scientific computing libraries and packages. And so um, Conda has its own repository. And then over the years, people have packaged other different uh, programs um, and they were kind of doing this independently. And so Conda Forge is a separate repository of packages. So if you can't find something through Conda, um, it's likely you'll be able to find it through Conda Forge. PIP is a package manager that's specific to the Python package index or PyPy. And um, the thing with PIP is that it'll install everything just as it is, regardless of whether it's compatible with existing packages or not. And so when you're installing packages, the um, question might be, well, which one do I use? Do I use Brew or Conda, Conda Forge or PIP? Well, it depends on what kind of package you want to install. So if it's a Mac application, I'd recommend starting with Brew. If it's a Python package, I would first try Conda. And if you can't install it through Conda, then try Conda Forge. And if not, then go to PIP. So remember, Anaconda is neat because it makes sure that packages are compatible with one another. The other thing to remember is when we download and install these, um, where they are kept on our computer. So another thing to remember is that Homebrew is going to be installed in our user local directory. So every time you open up Terminal, you'll have access, Terminal has access to user local bin. And so what Homebrew does is that anytime you install a package, it'll go wherever the package wants to be, but then it'll create a sim link. So every time you open the terminal, it's going to access everything that's been sim linked to user local. And then Anaconda, when we install it using the graphical installer, will be installed in the um, home opt directory. So let's go ahead and start this installation. So first, um, here is a documentation for all these package tools. So if you click on them, um, you can see what they are. I've copied this command uh, for installation, which is right here, and you can copy that as well. Okay. So you're going to navigate to your terminal and just paste that there, hit enter, and it's going to ask you for your computer's password. OK, and then we're going to press return to continue. So it's downloading some command line tools. You see how it mentions Xcode, which is what we uh, installed in the last video. So I'll go ahead and pause this video and come back once it's done installing. All right, so that has finished installing. It only took about two minutes on my computer. All right, so now let's scroll up and uh, install Anaconda. So to install, um, to learn more about Anaconda, you can click on the website 
And here, um, when you click on download, it kind of scrolls down and you have two options, a graphical installer, so that's your GUI or your command line installer. I'm gonna go with a graphical installer um, so we can kind of see it visually. Um, it's kind of fun to see what the GUIs look like. So that is downloading. And now let's click on it. Continue, continue, go through all the prompts. So we're gonna install it. And I'll return once this is done. All right, so that finished downloading. It only took a couple of minutes. And so we can see it under applications. There's Anaconda. Awesome. So the last bit of this video, we're going to scroll down to the bread and butter commands. So you're using brew or you're using Anaconda. Um, the way to find packages is by writing brew search, the name of the package, or similarly conda search, the name of the package. Um, if you're installing, those are the commands there to remove a package. You'd use brew uninstall or conda remove. If you want to upgrade brew or conda entirely, these are the commands for that. And then the last um, and probably most valuable uh, part is uh, are all of these cheat sheets that are here. And so um, here are just commonly used commands for homebrew and conda as well as pip. So um, I definitely keep them on hand. So in this video, we talked about why we need package managers and installed both Homebrew and Anaconda. Note that PIP comes installed with Anaconda, so you'll be able to use that automatically. In the next video, I'm going to walk us through using Visual Studio Code or VS Code, which is going to be our integrated development environment where we can write scripts and use really neat extensions, which are going to help save us a ton of time. So I'll see you in the next one.